Hey guys, it's Nautica and I'm back with another video. So this is actually the long awaited curly slash kinky hair tutorial. I'm sorry about like the weird shaking on my desk. It's kind of annoyed every time I move. So sorry about that. Um, but yeah, you guys want a curly slash kinky hair tutorial and I decided that I will give it to you. So I know a lot of young artists uh, slash beginner artists tend to stray away from drawing other hair textures other than straight so I wanted to give you guys just kind of some information on curly slash coily kinky hair um yeah give you some information on curly coily kinky hair so you guys can be a little bit more comfortable drawing it it's not really that bad honestly um especially if you're like me you draw like the laziest <laughs> hair strands ever but before we get started, I got to give you guys a couple, uh, just a little bit of information. Um, uh, like I said, you know, people, especially younger artists tend to, uh, or beginner artists tend to stray away from like a uh, curly slash kinky hair textures, almost like they tend to stray away from dark skin and don't say you don't stray away from dark skin. There's like a lot of artists who like stray away from drawing dark, uh, from coloring dark skin. But I can do a tutorial on that if you guys are, you guys want something like that. But honestly, depending on your art style, it determines on how like the actual curls will come out. Like it determines how detailed the hair is, pretty much for the most part. I don't draw very detailed, so I don't know if this is gonna help you or not. But if you do draw in the anime slash manga hair style, um, style or something similar to mine, to where like the hair isn't as detailed, then um, this might be able to help you. Yeah, because I'm pretty lazy when it comes down to doing things like this anyway. So before I get started, we're going to start with three different um, hair types and um, give you guys a bit of information. And then I'm going to draw the actual uh, chicky chicks. But let me draw the faces first before we do all that. And we're going to draw the faces. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Two. I should do like a two second drawing challenge and let me get that off the table because I think that's what's making all that noise. Okay, yeah, that's good because that was getting on my nerves. Hmm. I should do like a. <laughs> uh, uh, um. A challenge. A drawing challenge. I don't think it would be that bad though. Uh, let's see. Hmm. All right. Sorry. All right. So we're going to get right into this. So the first hair um, type we're going to deal with is uh, type two. Let's say, let's write it down. Type two. So this is the type two hair type. And this is actually wavy. Um, it's a wavy hair type. It tends to come into like a really long like a shape like this it's like a really lazy ass s like the s gave up on life like shh come on. wait that's an sh it, it just gave up on life like a snake let me stop talking but um i'm gonna go into it but a lot of times the hair tends to look something like this very just like i said long s shapes like very loose curls like like hello how are you today i don't know mm -hmm. yeah mind you this is like the hardest <laughs> this is like the hardest um hair type for me to draw i don't know why but it's just so difficult for some odd reason, it's just something about these um, very long strands. I just feel like I'm just doing something absolutely wrong. Um, so, I said before, very loose, just super loose curls. Like, um, we're not getting to the tight stuff. The tight stuff is... um. The last hair type, that's type four. That's the hair type I have. <laughs> um, but yeah, very loose. Kind of like if you have straight hair and you decided to, to do like um some curls in your hair. 
it's more likely it'll come out like this. Um, there are different types of type two wavy hair, but we're just gonna go with the first one. So yeah, there we go. There we go. Let's give her like a little face. So she doesn't, she's not all alone with her face. So yeah, there we go. I like to add like little extra little strands. Um, but yeah, that's the what type, type one, not type one. This is type two hair. And if you guys are like questioning like type two hair, where is type one? Type one is straight. So, but we're, we already did a tutorial on that. I just never went into specifics of uh, what it was. So yeah, we got type two hair, which is pretty much the lazy S shape. So we're going to go into type type three um uh type t i don't type three is usually curly so um so curly hair tends to have like a definite s shape something like this like hello how you doing like hi i'm an s oh wow why do i even make tutorials to stop but yeah it tends to be a an actual um S shape. There are there are three types of curly, um, curly hair types. But I'm just gonna go into the first one. Probably yeah, the first one, um, which is the probably like curly A, which is kind of close to this, but not really. So yeah, let's just just do another girl, and she's gonna have some some type some type A, type three curls. <laughs> So you see how I'm like making that a lot, like a lot tighter. The curls are like a lot more tighter. Like I said before, before like somebody gets offended, they're like, um, because there are people like that I know who do their research on their hair and they are type three. This is type three A. So just, that's just what I'm getting into. Um, so yeah. You know, really really tight like kind of like a tighter s shape like hmm you see where we're getting at it's a lot more it's a lot more detail you have to deal with this isn't And give her a little face too. Hello, how you doing? Um, I gotta give her a neck because you know, I'm gonna probably just stop her hair like right, right, right here is pretty good. So, there we go. This is the uh, type, type three S shape. So, there we go. And for the next one, which is the one I'm more familiar with is a uh, type four hair, which is basically my hair texture. Um, a lot of people refer to type four hair or type three C hair, which is the last one on this one to, they refer to uh, actual, they actually refer to as Afro hair, which is the um, kinky hair. Um, and the thing is with the uh, kinky hair is usually it usually has either a zigzag or a very coily type of shape like this very th this is a very tight curl like this is very very tight so a lot of times they're not as um you won't notice it but you won't notice how defined the hair is because the thing is with afro hair and i think people get stuck on this is that so a lot of people get a lot really confused with uh, the kinky portion of um, the kinky hair, which is the type four hair type, which is Afro hair. Um, because I don't think people think that Afro hair has a definite shape, which it does. Like I said before, it's the uh, coily right here, or it can be like the zigzag right here. Either one is um, fine. I'm not really going to get into too much. I'm just going to do something pretty uh, simple, but a lot of times when I do draw people with like very kinky hair, um, because our hair kind of intertwine with one another, like 
I'm saying our because my hair type too, but our hair intertwines with one another. It, yeah, that's where the Afro shape comes from. And it's not defined like by gravity. The only time like our hair kind of, the hair actually weighs down is either when it's wet. <laughs> a lot of times it's either when it's wet or it's in a, it, uh, it's in a specific style or it honestly depends on how long it is. So my hair, it just, I, I just style it to where like it kind of falls a little bit. But for the most part, if I didn't do anything to it, it just goes all over the place. So, um, <laughs> I'm a lazy person, but yeah, All right, let's try something like this. Mm. Yeah, a lot of times I don't really do too much of a super defined, um, style when it comes down to afro hair i kind of like it all bunched together like this um kind of it reminds me of the way i wear my hair so yeah like i said before depending on your art style determines how you would draw um <clears throat> how you would draw any of these hairstyles because i know artists who do draw very um kinky and coily hair and it's a lot more, it's a lot more detailed and defined. You actually see the actual curls in the hair. But me, that's really not the case. If I was ever to, let's say, define any of the curls in the hair, I just draw like the little strands on the outside like that, like something like that. Something that I do with like the little, like the loose, the loose pieces of hair. That's what I do for the most part. Um... Most of the time I won't style it like this. Um, I'm just doing this for show. But if you guys do want a tutorial on how to style, um, let's see, Afro hair or anything in that regard, then let me know. Um, so just, just let me know because I have like a ton of hairstyles and I am willing to share that with you guys. So yeah, this is pretty much it. I will have the more detailed version of this on my Patreon. So if you guys aren't supporting me on Patreon, you can support me on Patreon. You get access to prints. Uh, you get access to prints, a monthly coloring page, uh, discounts on my store, and also the PDFs of just tutorials like this. So this is pretty much it. Hopefully this helped you guys out, um, was a little informative. I know it's not as funny as my other videos, but I'm kind of sick right now. So I'm like making jokes is kind of hard right now. Um, but yeah, I'll have a fun video coming up very soon and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.